In this video, we will discuss about case-based reasoning. Before going to that one, first we will take the what are the key properties of instance-based learning. All the instance-based learning methods are lazy learning methods. In those, they differ the decision of how to generalize beyond the training data until a new query instance is observed. Next property is can classify new query instance by taking only similar instances where ignoring uh, the instances which are different from the query. Third property is can represent instances as real valued points in an n dimensional Euclidean space. So that is r power n we are taking. r is real valued and n dimensional is n. Okay. So where in the case of instance based learning k in n case we have taken that function as r power n gives v. Okay. So that is is a third property of instance-based learning. In the case of case-based reasoning, okay, uh, that one follows only first two properties. In the case of case-based reasoning, they are not following the real-valued points in an n-dimensional Euclidean space. In case-based reasoning, all instances are typically represented using more rich symbolic descriptions. In that methods used to retrieve similar instances are correspondingly more elaborate. The case-based reasoning can be used for the following types of problems. First one is uh, these are used in the conceptual design of mechanical devices based on a stored library on, of previous designs. All mechanical companies have some old designs, previous designs. They are maintaining one uh, uh, repository of these designs. If new client comes, uh, depending on their requirement, if already existing design is present, they will give the design or depending on the client requirement, they give the new design. Second one is reasoning about new legal cases based on previous rulings. Okay. So if new case comes, first they will see the uh, database, whether that already that type of case came to the hearing or not, any rulings on that particular one or not. If they are available, they will take as a uh, reference of that one. Otherwise, they will go for new trial. Okay. Next one is solving planning and scheduling problems by reusing and combining portions of previous solutions to similar problems. So for the problems are given, if exactly same, they will reuse that one or some extent they are same. So they take that one and they make some modifications to that one and they can use that one as a solution for the given problem. Here we will take one example to we'll discuss this case based reasoning uh, and we will use this uh, case design tool system. So here in this example is on uh, uh, mechanical uh, thing contains a T junction pipe. Okay, so this is in the case of plumbing take uh, that is T junction pipe. So water comes in two ways and uh, water goes out in only one direction. So here Q is the water flow, T is the temperature. So Q1, Q2. And for these things, uh, water goes to the Q3. So plus means uh, Q1 to Q3, water goes. Okay. And T1, T2, and uh, temperature 1, temperature 2, combination of those two goes to T3. 
the shown t diagram t design is available with the company now for this new function okay so how to take the design that is for this new function what is the structure of that one so first they will check in their database or in their repository whether this particular design is this particular function is available or not if that is available directly they will take if that one is not available so they have to design for that one okay so here uh, qc and qh okay that is water flow a cold water and hot water that is required function this is uh, uh, this is a control on temperature control on function like this we are taking so here plus sign is there and minus sign is there so plus is uh, uh, the value at the head increases depending on the value of tile okay so negative that is minus indicates uh, value of head at the head place that value decreases uh, depending on the tile value okay so qc qh which you are come getting from these controls and uh, water flow cold water and hot water so here uh, in our case uh, three possibilities so, like one is uh, uh, only hot water only cold water other one is mixture of those two we are taking so that is uh, cold water and hot water we are taking we are they are coming to the medium thing if you, both of you both of them if you combine you will get the medium thing this is a temperature of cold water and temperature of hot water if you combine those two you will get the medium of those two so if this is the target function for this structure is available in the repository or not first we have to check in the case based model if that same thing is available in the repository they will give that design directly if this is not available then they have to company have to design give the design for that one so in that case while giving that design so this is a, a initial value this is the target one okay where uh, ct is the initial qc is the middle one qm is the target one so depending on this uh, a value and b value it all changes so here plus if you take okay so depending on x value b value increases like that we can take these type of designs are uh, developed next one is uh, backtracking is allowed in this case so what do you mean by backtracking so if design that particular design is not available in the repository they will uh, give new design for that one while giving the new design if there are any errors are occurred again they have to go back and they have to reconstruct the everything that process is called as a backtracking so backtracking is allowed in the case of case based reasoning so these are the generic properties of case based reasoning all the instances are cased may be represented by uh, symbolic descriptions what we observed in our uh, uh, example okay so that is a t junction like that uh, such as function graphs used in case design tool next one is uh, multiple retrieval cases may be combined to form a solution to the new problem so if new problem comes okay first they check in the repository okay so directly available they will give or they will combine one or two and give that uh, solution to that new problem otherwise they start from the scratch okay. so there may be tight coupling between case retrieval knowledge based reasoning and problem solving so we have two types of methods one are lazy methods and uh, eager methods all instance based things comes under lazy methods and the algorithms which we have taken those are design tree back propagation 
it, those algorithms comes under eager methods in the case of laser methods we have discussed with knn and case based retrieval comes under these lazy methods so these are the some of the differences between lazy methods and eager methods lazy methods may consider the query instance x when deciding how to generalize beyond the training data that is first they take uh, storage of this training data whenever new instance comes uh, at that point of time so they start acting so they require more time when new instance comes to uh, give the solution to that one in the case of eager methods that is not the case so depending on the training data first they construct they give the target function by taking the target function directly uh, for the test data result are given so by the time they observe the query instance they have already chosen their approximation to the target function next lazy learner has option of representing the target function by a combination of many local approximations so in the case of lazy learning we are taking the nearest neighbors like that we are considering so there is a possibility of many local approximations so uh, representing all the combinations they will take uh, local approximations and give the solution to this one next uh, eager learner must commit at training time to a single global approximation so as we have taken in back propagation algorithm by using gradient descent that one leads to the global minimum line 